Running a business isn't easy, but AI tools are definitely here to change the way we do it. Being a freelancer and solopreneur, I'm always looking for ways to be more productive, automate tasks, and just carve out more free time for other things I enjoy doing. There are a few tools that I have been consistently using for the past several months that have just completely changed my workflow. And today I'm gonna share exactly what they are and how I use them. If you're new here, hi, my name is Mayara. I'm a freelance brand and web designer and AI enthusiast. And here on the channel, I help other freelancers and digital business owners through tips and advice like the ones I'm sharing today. If you're interested in design, business, or AI, I think you should hit that subscribe button because that's exactly what I share here. So I'm gonna go over the tools, show my process, how I use them. And for some of them, there are several use cases so you can adapt to your own needs. Of course, I'm going to mention ChatGPT and MidJourney later on this video, but I'm going to start with some less popular tools. The first one is for the YouTubers out there, and it's called Opus Clip. I have mentioned them before on the channel, but Opus Clip is just incredible. It changed the game for me because I'm not somebody that enjoys the process of editing videos. I'm not good at it. So once I do it for the long form, it's great to have a tool like Opus Clip that generates snippets from YouTube videos, and it even rates them based on the chances of it going viral. It's a really simple process. All you have to do is paste the link to your YouTube video and you can do that with an unlisted video. And then Opus Clip is going to add subtitles to them and just choose the clips that make the most sense. You can even add your brand colors and of course you can edit the words it highlights, change emojis, remove emojis, whatever it is you want to do. This is such a great tool. The second tool I want to mention is kind of a hidden gem. I don't think a lot of people know about it, but I love it for creating short form video scripts and it's called Script AI. That's script without a T and it's a perfect head start for your talking head real TikTok shorts. It's something that I really like to do. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I post a lot of reels just talking to the camera, like nothing, no trends, nothing like that. It's just me going on and on about something. And Script AI is so easy to use. You don't have to register. It is a free tool. All you have to do is fill out these fields here on the left side. And I like to keep 30 to 60 seconds because I feel like 30 is going to give a really, really short output. So once you generate, this is what it's going to look like. And I even like this better than ChatGPT for this type of content. Tool number three is another little secret of mine and it's called Extractify and what this does, and at least what I use it for, I think it has some other functionalities. It generates a summary of any YouTube video and I like to use this to then pair it with ChatGPT and generate content for you know blogs and LinkedIn, Instagram, all of that. So this is my latest video, AI plugins for Figma, and here's the summary Extractify generated. Now I'm going to come over to ChatGPT and tell it to help me generate content from this summary, always tell it to generate in first person singular and obviously double check the, the spelling and all of that because even Extractify can make a lot of mistakes. And like I always say, AI tools are here to help us brainstorm ideas and not to generate the final content for us. So that's really important to always keep in mind. And of course, we're going to talk about ChatGPT, but to make the most of ChatGPT, you have to give it a really good prompt. And prompt perfect perfects your initial prompt and I've said prompt too many times now, giving it more context and directions so the chatbot can give more specific answers. And from my experience, this is a great tool if you're just getting started with AI or if you don't know how to phrase something, but sometimes it can also make mistakes. So, you know, double check. A really nice thing about it is that it's always going to compare the prompt. So your initial prompt and the prompt that it generated and how the chatbot would reply to each of them. So that's a, a good thing to make sure that you're getting you know, exactly what you want. And now let's get into the two most popular AI tools out there, Midjourney and ChatGPT. So let's talk about Midjourney first. Midjourney is a Discord server where you can generate images and I pay $8 a month and I think it's their cheapest plan, but it is so worth it. I use Midjourney quite often for website mockups and I have even made some very small passive income from it. I have a video that I'm going to link here in the cards if you're interested in that. Spoiler alert, it's nothing out of this world but it's something that I have been exploring. And once you are all registered, you will have access to the server and all you have to do is type slash imagine in your prompt. And there are several parameters such as aspect ratio because the standard is a square image. And let's suppose I'm designing a website for an interior designer. It's kind of a portfolio. They haven't provided me yet with the images they want to use, but I know a little bit of their brand. So instead of going to Unsplash or Freepik or whatever, I just generate images with Midjourney that are more aligned with their branding. So when they see the mock-up, that feels a little bit closer to what the final website is going to be. 
And last but not least, in fact, I think this is the most important tool on this list is ChatGPT. I don't think there's been a single day in the past six months that I haven't used ChatGPT. It is my right hand man from breaking down tasks to proofreading emails to helping me come up with content ideas. The possibilities are really endless. And here's an unpopular opinion. I think I've become more creative thanks to ChatGPT and Midjourney. I get really excited at the results sometimes, <laughs> like the content ideas and like I want to start this series on my Instagram now that is like kind of me going around the, the cities I visit and photographing design inspiration and that was thanks to ChatGPT. And honestly, ChatGPT deserves a whole video because there's so much that goes into prompting and I would never go there and say, write a blog post about visiting Brazil as a digital nomad because like, what's the point of that post? Who are we targeting? What are the keywords that we are using? You really have to know your business from the inside out. It's not gonna be able to come up with a strategy for you if you don't know what you're looking for, what your goals are and what your audience wants. So that video will come, but here's a prompt you might want to copy if you're anything like me and need to break down tasks to the minimal task possible so they don't feel all that overwhelming. Now, every time I type something into this chat, it knows that it just has to break it down and give me an estimate of how many hours this task will take. If you use ChatGPT for content creation, make sure you double check all the facts, all the data. Its knowledge only goes up to September 2021, so Google is still your best bet for anything that needs proof. I have also noticed that the more you talk to it, like in the same chat, the more it starts to make up facts. I was doing this research about Airbnb because I wanted to create a post about Airbnb's brand identity, and it just started to come up with some really absurd numbers. And I went to double check on Airbnb's website and stuff like that, and it was nothing like the real thing. So just be aware of that. If you've tried any tool from this list, let me know in the comments. And if there's any other AI tool that you use on a daily or weekly basis to help you run your business, let me know as well, because I love testing new tools. If this video was helpful, please leave your like. That's so important for small creators like me. And make sure you go and watch all the other videos here on the channel. There are so many about design and AI. And I will see you next week.